it's time for what? Another storage unit with myself and Mr. Taco Stacks. Over here, we bought this big unit behind me, a 10, 10 by 10, I think, 10 by 10, for $30. Can you get a storage unit for $30 anymore? And will it be trash or will it be treasure? We're going to find out. Moment of truth. We have Jesus. He's right over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, and there's the vintage. I didn't even see this in the picture. There's the vintage uh, Christmas reindeer you put out on your lawn. They're plastic, but who cares? Oh man, I'm excited already. There's a sewing machine. There's video games. What? There's a bottle box. I guess you didn't even see them. I couldn't zoom in but, enough. Yeah, I think the one photo wasn't even. Oh, <gasps> is that a PlayStation? Is that vintage Christmas ornaments up here? Wait, hold on. Am I oh, think? Ornaments. You love ornaments. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. And there's Mickey. I saw the skirt. I couldn't tell who it was though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And he wasn't sure. You gotta trust me every now and then. Now, I did do bad on that stinky Pyrex Bowl unit, but oh my gosh. Oh, there's a clock? Oh, there's cassette tapes? That says Sega. That says Sega. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We have an old clock, some books, a whole bunch of chairs. Uh, what's in there? Coca Cola schedule or something? Don't break it. Don't break. Oh, it's a book cover. Like there's a whole bunch of posters. No, here's Tom Jones. Told you. Oh is that Jesus? It's puppies. It's puppies. This unit has been disinfected. Good to know. Oh my gosh. We're getting blurry here, folks. The excitement's getting to my camera. <laughs> uh, you gotta trust me on something. PlayStation. There's a box down there. Mar Are those Nintendo? Oh my gosh, there's a box down there marked PlayStation. <laughs> Now, are you excited? I'm very excited. This could be good. Is that rocks? What's that? Oh, that's a guitar. Is that is for? Guitar Hero rock band. I saw that in the picture too. Oh. Oh, that's a sewing kit. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's kids stuff, but hey. That's easy enough to just put away when you're working with maybe possibly some. Oh, he's peeking. Because we'll kind of split the unit up so we can... He's he's digging over those old photos. <laughs> <laughs> he's digging where he's at. See? Can't I'm keep not... my hands off it. <laughs> All right, we got to get busy. I'm excited. This is going to be so much fun. And we just found some Nintendo. Super Nintendo or N64? N64. N64 games. So. Um... This seems like a gaming corner over here. We have a little tea kettle. Auto, what in the world? An auto watchman prevents the use of master keys or removal of ignition lock. This is like Creed Club. What year is this, bro? I've never seen this. A chain case hardened. Wow. Let's see simple directions. Who knows what that's worth? So yes, we have our Christmas. I don't see Santa though, but we have all the reindeer made in Taiwan. So these are vintage, these are nice. I don't, oh, there's Santa. I don't know the resale value on them, but I don't see these a lot at the flea market. I see more of the blow molds. So those are a nice little find right there. I'm, I'm all over because you get so excited. This is what I saw. I zoomed in enough to be able to read of the town. And then I figured, wait, this looks like it could be Tom Jones. And we have Rock with Bill Haley and the Comets. That looks pretty nice. A box full of postcards, postcards, I wish. <laughs> Posters. And remember these. But, oh, it's from paper. Oh my gosh, I had this. <laughs> These are Phillipsburg High School uh, book covers with Susie State Ladder on it. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Maybe there'll be more Peabird stuff. So they already unveiled the puppy poster. Oh, these are from the teen magazines. Corey, 
Uh, he's Corey Haim, Corey Hart, Corey Haim. He's from Goonies. We also have, uh, this was Ricky Martin. This is from Thought Magazine, oh my gosh. Could these be, is that a scary clown doll in there? Oh, Garfield, a, a, a drawn um, Garfield poster. <laughs> oh, what is this? This box has all sorts of vintage things in it. I'm so excited, I can't even figure out how to hold it here. <laughs> we have a ship made of shells, shell ship. So we got 10 pounds fast. Is this another one? Oh, we have a lady. She's a little broken. There's a, looks like a pennant. Oh, there's, oh my gosh, there is. We have this one from the Land of Make Believe. This is in great condition too. If you've ever been to the Land of Make Believe, Santa's barn. That's all I'm gonna say. I want to see what this one was. It's a bear. Oh. It's from, uh, I'm cutting myself here. It's from Space Farms. Goliath. <gasps> I went and I saw, I went to Space Farms when I was younger. This place has a lot of issues because they're accused on a daily basis of animal abuse. <laughs> but uh, Goliath is their, was, is or was their huge stuffed bear, I believe. But this is wonderful. This whole box is filled with just vintage stuff. This poster is, oh darn it. It's a black light poster. Of, it looks like a military plane. What a shame it's in bad shape. This is great. Oh, if I needed yarn, I have it now. Oh my gosh. This is, you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna have to look these up because you just never know. You know, these are vintage yarn. Uh, made in USA, Stanford, Connecticut. And I have a whole code of them. Like, people like a certain brand, they're doing a vintage project and they want to use vintage. Well, here we go. We have neighbors next to me. They're also cleaning out a unit. So. So here were the records that I did see. I could see him in the photo. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Oh, best of the mummers. Who doesn't need that? The mummers parade. We have Eddie Arnold. I'm throwing rice at the girl I love. Another Eddie Arnold. Country Road. What are they doing over there? Country Road. Oh, we have some ornaments, but they're from Big Lots. Boxo. Beaver. Peaver trophies, it looks like. We have Peaver, I think it's cheering. Oh, I think it's a whole box of trophies. Ooh, we have the pants. I'm pretty sure it's a cheerleading outfit. I think we have another whole tote of DVDs. Oh, movies, Dirty Dancing VHS, Lady Liberty. These are CDs. This is from a rental place, The Bear. Dr. Seuss. Oh, this is filled and it's heavy. Some of these can't all be video games. That would be awesome. Jurassic Park. So we'll have to go through this one. Go through all of this. Lights out tonight. Mary Jane Clark. And it's a book on tape. This is a classic. Who remembers playing this in elementary school? <laughs> that was my rendition Mary had a plan. Now this tote, I did see. Oh, was this Elvis? We have an Elvis. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think that's a DVD player. An Elvis Presley CD case with no CDs, but there are records. It smells weird in that tote. This, the smell in this unit, there is none. So that's nice. We have Johnny Mathis, uh, Rusty Warren, Queen Ida, Stan. Oh, 
Spanish record. Um, maybe we'll have some Beatles. Doubtful. Patsy Cline, of course. And who is this? Oh, Chuck Berry. Rockin', reeling and rockin'. Roll over Beethoven. And then, of course, we have probably really great records without the case, uh, without the sleeve on it. Your Christmas favorites, gotta have that, naturally. And Blueberry Hill, um, Fats Domino. I found my friend on Blueberry Hill. What is down there? Oh, we have a Disneyland record. Walt Disney, Treasure Island. Where to start? Where to start? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is that's right back to high school days because I actually have a box of these of my own notes. They're all folded up, <laughs> only for your eyes. It's, it's a whole box of notes. Don't let anyone read this. I know. You're going to be mad, but read this and find out why. <laughs> oh, and then we have the diary, too. Is it locked? Oh, man. Never going to know what's in here. Looks like it's almost empty. It's so funny. All those notes. Special value Hallmark box of cards. Perhaps they're still in there. No, we have, oh, that's interesting, a Viewmaster. There's actually two Viewmasters. Oh, this is uh, Sword in the Stone. We have Sword in the Stone from Disney, Man in Space, Wild Animals, Moon Rockets. Man, Viewmasters were great. That's a surprise. So yes, we have the older section of stuff over here, I think. Um. We're the Christmas. This is cute. 1981 limited edition. It's just the little little guys on a sled. We have the Christmas ornaments made in USA. Satin ribbon artificial flower with quartz clock wood frame. This could be could this be the best thing in this unit? Oh no, well it's not that. It's gift tags. A 2003 calendar. And then it's um, tissue paper and Christmas wrapping paper. Unexpected in every corner. You wanna help me get making a new year? I saw on um, eBay and it wasn't, oh, it's all one piece. Yeah. Oh, wow. Then that's not what I was up on mine. I wonder if it, maybe it's like my Disney store, like at the mall. I don't know. Probably not, but that's really nice. Oh, yeah? Okay, you can put it down. <laughs> that's nice, though. We'll have to look that up. Everyone's name is on there. Yeah, I thought it was two pieces. Okay. We got a good shot. Huh. Yeah, but how the heck do you ship that thing? You could probably lay it on there. Are these worth anything? Uh, some people say yes, some people say no, I don't know. Jeez. So I forgot, I do have, there's the box that uh, Taco Stacks oh. looked at first or in the beginning that he said it was old photos. I took a peek, it's a scrapbook, but I think that it's like filled with paper. Last lonely bag on the shelf, it's my shelf. Maybe we'll probably bring that to the flea market. Looks like we have more fancy glassware, Christmas themed. There are some ornaments in here. They're plastic though. And ta-da-da, -da, so it's not, I guess it's a real one. I don't want to be picky here. Yeah, we have a ceramic Christmas tree. Which is not the usual Christmas tree. It's a different one. Does it have a year? I don't want to use all the lights. No, it just says Anne. Different version, but hey. Can't get too picky over 
ceramic Christmas tree that you found, but the rest looks like it's all lights. Not lights, um, glassware. And then you have a reindeer and a tuxedo. That's a prancer. The last box of this unit for $30. It was a good unit. There's a lot of sellable stuff. Check out Taco Stack's channel to see all of the fun things that he found, all the games. I feel like we get so close to some units. Like we are on that cusp of a unit filled with all great 1980s or 1990s or 1940s, 1950s stuff. Maybe one day. But this box definitely looks like it has some older things in it. We have this vintage bag with some notes and a doodle. This is what, oh, maybe there's more Christmas. Uh, Taco thought this was a photo album. It's your classic scrapbook where they took stuff out of magazines. Only oh the first two pages are filled. Ooh, and then we have a catalog for seeds. Gurney's spring catalog, 1982. See, we get so close. Only one day we're gonna find that unit filled with 80s stuff and it's gonna be great. Oh, oh man, this brings back memories. So this is the instructions for a Snoopy snow cone machine. I had this, I think I still have it at my mom's and it was so much fun to make snow cones. So we have a whole box of, there's some Christmas cards, paperwork. What's this a poster? Is this Smurfs or Teddy? It's, oh, the Flintstones. Oh, it's a poster from Fruity Pebbles. That's funny. You can color it in. So we'll definitely have to go, oh, through everything. We have some Christmas taper candles. This might be a box of paper. Maggie and Jeff. Welcome to Dreamland with happy faces with unfriendly hellos. They call to you in your dreams. That's creepy. Keychain. <laughs> uh, lenses for glasses. <laughs> Not a keychain. Oh. Oh, I was like, we have a Hershey bar. It's a notepad. These are cute little great things from the 80s. Here we go. We have some novelty Halloween candles in the original package. Looks like there's just some paperwork, more order forms for the seeds, a horse book, more notes. <laughs> Do not read this. Oh, a puzzle. This is a vintage puzzle. It looks like it might be themed. Oh, it's a Borden's. A Borden's, oh, where was that piece? So Borden's Farm Products, a Borden's puzzle. I'll have to look that one up. We have it in a cute little box. More paperwork. Free tickets inside. Toby Tyler. Oh, this is for Warren County Fairgrounds. The Circus. That's a great ad. Bring them back alive. Frank Buck, Wild Animal Menagerie. This is a really nice ad. I can't remember the last time they had a circus at the Warren County Warmers Fair. It definitely was a while ago. Oh, we have some rock magazines. Hit Parade. You have Ozzy Osbourne on the front. Oh, what is this? It's a Gremlins notebook. <laughs> Man, why couldn't this have been filled, this unit have been filled with that kind of stuff? Don't ever get him wet. Keep him out of light. Never feed him after midnight. Little gizmo, he was so cute. Darn it. Oh, we have other notebooks. There's a Cabbage Patch notebook. That's cute. I'm all yours. <laughs> Oh man, that's it for the rest of this box. We have some more notes, some baby shoes. Yep, that's all. Well, what a unit this has been. For $30, you can't go wrong. It was a larger size unit, so we had to make several trips up and down the elevator and out to a Taco Stacks van, but we still have a lot that we have to go through. We have to go through all the papers, all the clothes, 
still just a, a good a good unit for, and for thirty dollars that's the kicker you know if you would have spent three or four hundred dollars on this unit i think it would have been kind of hard to make your money back but for thirty dollars you can't go wrong maybe the next one will have all the 1980s stuff i can only hope anyway i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching be sure to check out taco sack's video too so you can see some of the things that he found in the unit and we will see you for the next adventure whatever that may be have a great day. I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.